tell me, does this sound like you? I mean, I want to make video content, but I don't know what I'm going to talk about. I don't really have any ideas. I don't even know how to come up with ideas to talk about. I don't know what I know that would be beneficial to an audience. Well, let's fix that in this video. Oh, yeah. Creating content consistently, in my opinion, is one of the hardest things to do. Personally, I've struggled over my time as both a content creator and an entrepreneur to create content consistently. I go through what I like to call bipolar content creation syndrome, and I don't mean any disrespect by using the term bipolar, it's just for lack of a better term. I go through these highs where I'm creating content at scale, constantly interacting the whole nine, and then I go through the lows where I don't produce content. I'll take a break, a week turns into a month, turns into an infinite amount of time, and then I'm pissed at myself. The reason why content creation is so hard or the mental block that we give ourselves is usually coming up with good ideas, ideas that will generate views, that will give value to other people. That's why I'm gonna share with you a hack that I learned recently that's really helped me in my journey of creating content consistently. Now, before we get into the hack, there's something that we need to identify in advance for the hack to even work. I want you to think about the audience that you have or the prospective audience that you will have. In exchange for their time and attention, what are they getting from you? Now, don't get all panicky. I don't want you to think about, oh my God, what's my niche? What do I niche down? What's my positioning in the market? Who's my ideal client? Who's my ideal industry? Stop. I know that, that to me, just thinking about it right now is draining. Though it's important, it's not for this video. Just answer a very simple question. What am I giving my audience in exchange for their time and attention? For me, it's anything revolving around video, so video marketing, video creation, um, video strategy, communicating on video. All of those things are things that I give to my audience in exchange for their time and attention. Once you've identified that, then we can transition into the hack. So I want you to pause this video right now and write down, in exchange for their time and attention, what does the audience get from you? It doesn't have to be so well and neatly nuanced just a theme, a general theme. Okay, now that you've identified what it is that you give to the audience in exchange for their time and attention, we're gonna get into the hack. The hack involves being on YouTube and taking that thing that you've identified that you give to the audience and using it as your main search criteria. So for me, for example, it would be video strategy. Once the search results come up, you wanna to go to filter up here and make sure that relevance is selected. Relevance identifies the closest video to the search term that you put in there. And you're gonna look for a video that has at least 10,000 views and has been published more recently. Between the year mark, no more than two years, so the information is as fresh as possible. Now for the sake of this tutorial, I've already pulled up a video that's a great example of what I'm trying to show you. This is a video that I was a part of with the future, so shout out to Chris Doe and my homies Rodrigo and Chris Franklin. So once you go through the search process and you pull up the video that you want, you're gonna scroll down to the comment section. Now here is the beauty of this hack. As a person who's creating content, you want content that actually works that you know is going to engage with the audience that you want. If you have a good idea of what it is you give to the audience in exchange for their time and attention, and the person that you are searching with that criteria does something similar to what you do and has an audience that's similar to the audience you want to create or the audience that you already have, then the comments are verified information as to what topics resonate with that audience. So you're going to scroll through the comments and you're going to look for comments that already have a timestamp. For example, right here, 3655. And he gives you the, the thing that was said in the video and you hear the best gold. So this is an audience member, a prospective audience member of yours that has literally confirmed that at 3655, whatever was said there resonated with them. You're going to keep scrolling and you're just going to keep finding these timestamps. 4405. Perfect. I really felt that. Boom. You're going to keep going. 4440, an hour and 23, 5504. And you're just going to keep going through the comments, looking for these timestamps, taking notes, and then watching a little bit of that timestamp to see what was really discussed. And then you're going to expand on that timestamp in your own unique way, through your own research, through the things that you have knowledge of for your video topic or for your content topic. The beauty here is the audience has already done the work for you in validating that this is a topic idea that resonates with them as a core audience of yours. Because I know that a lot of tutorials about video ideas or content ideas 
revolve around activating your audience. But what if you don't have an audience? The cool thing about understanding what you give a potential audience in exchange for their time and attention is that there's a lot of other people out there probably doing something very similar to you with a healthy audience that's engaged. If you can go in and research what their audience has said is valuable, take that information, make it your own with your own data, with your own research and your own way of thinking, then it makes it your topic at the end of the day because you're not regurgitating or plagiarizing the same information, but you are using a touch point that the audience has validated. This is research 101. If you're in the academic space, before you write your own paper, you go and go through all the research that exists in that same space to see what's already been talked about and where you can expand. Now, please know that it does take some time to find a quality video with comments where people are timestamps, but don't give up in your search because I can assure you in a sea of ideas that go to die and effort that doesn't hit the mark, it feels really good to find ideas that people have already validated for you to use and up your own content game and not feel stuck and not take long breaks from making content like I did so you have that machine going for you and you're consistent as much as possible. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to the channel. Give me a like, comment, all that good stuff. But other than that, we will see y'all in the next one. Peace. Hey, hi, hello, I go by the name of Isma. I just wanted to thank you so, so much for making it to the end of this video. It means a lot to me, your time and attention. If you enjoyed this video or you found it helpful, please go ahead and leave me a like down below, comment and gently caress that subscribe button for more videos around video marketing, communicating effectively on video and my favorite personal development. Other than that, thank you for being here and I'll see you in the next one.